Greetings. I was just finishing up my Christmas list. He said he's going to be a little bit busy for the next few days. So, I wanted to say thank you to those of you that tuned into last week's video. I saw the comments and the likes and I really do appreciate it. So, this week what I'm going to do is talk about shortcuts for iPhone. First of all, what are shortcuts for iPhone? Well, think of it this way. Imagine that you want to go to a website and you just click on a button to get to that website. It's called a bookmark, right? Well, shortcuts are similar in that you select the shortcut and it will run a certain task for you. Say, for example, take a picture. Now, obviously, if you want to take a picture, you just press on the camera and take a picture. But for more complicated tasks, there are already shortcuts set up. And you just have to download them. So what I'm going to do is run through the 10 most useful shortcuts that are out at the moment. So shortcuts have been around since iOS 12. We're already at iOS 14, so the shortcuts app should be downloaded automatically. But if it isn't, just search for it on the App Store. Then in order for you to use these shortcuts, you'll need to just make a change in your settings. But no need to worry, as long as you're aware of the website that you're downloading from. So to do that, you go to Settings, and then shortcuts and then you should see under sharing security allow untrusted shortcuts if it's grayed out and you're unable to change it just go to the shortcuts app and then run a shortcut because most likely if you haven't run one before then it's automatically grayed out then you should be able to go back to settings and then select allow so let's start with the first shortcut which is birthday reminders now, each day we can check our calendar to see if we have any birthdays coming up. But what if you want to send out your birthday gifts ahead of schedule? What you can do with this shortcut is see the birthdays for the whole week. So once downloaded, you go into the shortcuts app and run birthday reminder. Then from there, it will ask you if it can access your contacts. So you click OK and it will display all the birthdays for seven days in advance. This is a really useful feature when you're sending out birthday cards or um, putting awkward stories on Instagram. Now you're thinking, how do I install it? Well, this is the perfect solution. I've put the link inside the comments of this video, so you'll see it there. The next shortcut that we have is Shazam++. So what happens is, when you listen to music and you want to know who's singing, simply press the button for Shazam and then it will detect what the song is and then open whichever music service that you're using. So whether that's Spotify, Apple Music or, or anything else. So to install this, you just go to the comments. The next one we have is a shortcut to play your favourite playlist, whether it's Spotify or Apple Music or another service. You simply select the button and it will automatically play that playlist. But how can you install it? Check the comments, the link is there. Next up, we have another shortcut to do with music and that is a shortcut that will play your 25 most played songs. Now to make the top 25 playlist, you simply select the shortcut and then you can choose a genre. For me, it's gonna be pop. You go to the music app and you'll find it under top 25 dash pop. Perfect. Now that was for Apple Music, but I've also included a link for the Spotify version as well. But we've got a problem. How can we install this shortcut? Check the comments. Next up. <clears throat> Oof, getting dry. Next up, we have a shortcut called Dictate to Notes. Now this is great when you're doing dictation and you wanna add them to your Notes app. So all you do is simply click on Dictate to Notes and then you just start talking. And once you, once you press stop, and then it will appear in your notes with today's date. Perfect for when you wanna do your Christmas list. I'm just looking for where you can install it. That's right, in the comments. Next up, we have alarm with intervals. Now, if you have trouble getting up, I don't have that 
problem myself, but some other people might do. You need to set several alarms. And unfortunately, you have to set them manually. Well, with this shortcut, you select it, and then it will ask you when your first alarm is. So let's say at this time, and then it will ask you how many more alarms you want to do. So if I say another three, it will create three further alarms with a space of five minutes between each. Perfect. Has anyone guessed yet where you can install this? My next favorite shortcut is a do not disturb timer. So if you tend not to put your phone on do not disturb and you want to see all the notifications uh, come through, but you're going into an important meeting or you just don't want to be disturbed for a certain amount of time, but you keep forgetting to turn it off. Well, with this shortcut, you can select it and it asks you in minutes or hours. So if I specify 30 minutes and then done, it will then turn on Do Not Disturb for 30 minutes and then turn itself off again. Perfect. How do you install it? The comments. My next awesome shortcut is converting videos to GIFs. Now we all use GIFs a lot. I use GIFs for all my reactions. But you can turn a video that you already have or even made into a GIF. So once installed, you run this shortcut and then it will show you all the recent videos. And then from there, you simply select one of those videos and then you can use the slider to show how much of the video that you want to include and then select save. And there you go, it's created a GIF for you. And then from there, you can share it to your friends or just save it into your camera roll. Perfecto. But how on earth do we install this shortcut? You're gonna kill me by the end of this, or worse, unsubscribe. It's in the comments. Now this shortcut is one of my favorites of my favorites. It's called reverse image search. Nowadays, there's a lot of catfishing going on, unfortunately. But also, if you've seen this image before and you wanna find out where it's originally from, you can do doing a reverse image search what it does is it looks for that photo in other locations on the web. This is a safety tip basically. So if you've got the photo or even the URL, the web address, just copy that and then click on reverse image search. And then from there, it will open up a web page and show you where else that image has been found and any similar images too. So good. It's in the comments. Lastly, this shortcut is amazing. I've saved it till last. So, imagine that you're using your phone, you're having a cocktail, and then you accidentally drop your phone in, in the cocktail. Disaster. Um, but what you can do is select a shortcut to eject water out of the bottom vents. It's crazy. It's actually a function from the Apple Watch that's been around for years. So this shortcut, allows you to do it for the phone as well. Once installed, you select it, and then there's an option, begin water ejection. And you hear a sound and a vibration coming from the bottom, and that's how it pushes out the water. So it's probably not gonna solve all water damage, but if there's a little bit that has, has seeped in, this is perfect for getting rid of that. And it's in the comments how to install. Finally, I wanted to show you that with all these shortcuts, you can use them as a widget on your home screen. So I'll show you how to do that. You hold down on your home screen and select plus. And then from there, look for the shortcuts app. You can choose different sizes. So you could have one whole page full of shortcuts basically. So it will have all your top shortcuts accessible on your home screen. It's so easy. So that's it for this week. Those are my top 10 shortcuts. I hope you find them useful. I can't wait to see the comments and any suggestions. I'll definitely be interested to see what you guys want to see next week. So it's bye from me, and it's bye from him.